6.2 magnitude earthquake strikes Italy. I woke up late last night to find a notification on my phone about a huge earthquake that struck Italy at around 3:36 a.m. local time. People were still sleeping in their beds when the earthquake hit. According to witnesses, the quake lasted 20 seconds. 38 people are dead as of now, and that number is expected to rise because many are still trapped beneath the rubble. They were sleeping when it happened. They had no time to evacuate. Apparently, screams from the people trapped can still be heard. It struck three towns the hardest: Amatrice, Pescara del Tronto, and Acumoli. Amatrice is completely destroyed, according to the president of the region, Nicola Zingaretti. Amatrice has a population of 2,600, and it has a stone clock tower with its hands frozen on the moment that the quake hit. According to the mayor of Amatrice, half the town doesn't even exist anymore. The towns that felt it the hardest were quite small, but are devastated by the quake. The towns are also very old. Sometimes the buildings date back to medieval Italy, so the buildings just crumbled. Most people across central Italy felt the earthquake, including in Rome and Florence. People were running into the streets to get away from the buildings. Imagine if the Colosseum was hit hard enough. There's a ton of amazing historic buildings in both Florence and Rome. I'm kind of glad they didn't feel it as much in those places. The epicenter of the earthquake was Norcia, which is 105 miles northeast of Rome. Not sure if you guys remember, but Italy was also struck with a really horrible earthquake in 2009. That one killed over 300 people. Italian President Sergio Mattarella got back to Rome from Palermo to help oversee the rescue operation. Pope Francis even spoke about the quake in his Wednesday sermon, saying that he was deeply saddened and asked the audience to join him in prayer for the victims of the quake. It's a shame that a place like Italy with so many historic treasures and beautiful buildings is so vulnerable to earthquakes. You feel earthquakes all the time in Italy. It's located somewhat close to a fault line. There was another quake in 1976 that killed 1,000 people in Friuli, and another 3,000 people died in 1980 after a quake hit Iprinina. Thousands of people in Italy are going to need temporary housing, and my hearts go out to the victims of the quake. And I'm glad to find out that the family I have in Italy are all okay. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say about this. Thanks so much for tuning in to IO.